One kid told me yesterday, as we were wrapping things up, they said, I am loving this because I get to use what I'm good at. I like design thinking because there's a lot of hands-on stuff and it's kind of like an art class a little bit, but it's a whole nother thing. Like, you're actually solving stuff that is happening in the real world. What I like about this class is uh, it really helps me like be creative. I'm usually not creative outside of the class, but whenever I'm in here, it's like a creative environment. We have to let them fail. We have to let them make that mess. We have to let them do it because holding their hands and doing it for them in the long run isn't going to help the kids out. It's, it's challenging, it's hard. It's, it's hard to let go. So I brought my dad in and he's lost uh, most of this finger, which is his ring finger, and then uh, tips of other two. And he has some difficulty holding items and carrying items and day-to-day -day functions of the things that he loves to do. And so we brought him in, our students interviewed him, and it was the most magical thing I've seen in education. I mean, and this is my 17th year in education, and here are these students that didn't know this man. Uh, you, you can tell from looking at his hands that he's worked with his hands all his life. They're, they're gritty, they're, they're kind of somewhat stained, and they brought him in and they embraced him, and they really wanted to know what he desired to have happen with this loss of his finger and the things that he wanted to do. That's like one of the reasons that like all of us really thought this was a cool project because it's not something that you really do in school often. It's like have somebody come into your school and like help them with a problem that they have. So like getting to build something in this class and make it to where it'll help his life every day. It's like, it's pretty cool. That was a win. If there's a win for this class, it was that, that they got it. We're here to help people. 